Home Remedies for Staphylococcus, a science-based approach. Thank you for returning to our channel. Today, we're going to discuss something that's really important to your overall health, how to treat staphylococcus infections at home. Common staphylococcus bacteria may cause a number of ailments, so let's be clear about what we're dealing with before looking for solutions. Staphylococcus bacteria. A kind of bacterium called staphylococcus, which is sometimes shortened to staph, is frequently found in the nose and on skin. Most of the time, they are harmless, but if they get into the circulation, they can occasionally result in infections like boils, impetigo, or even more serious illnesses. Healthy Skin versus Infected Skin There are a number of natural treatments for mild skin infections that may help reduce symptoms and promote recovery. But keep in mind that, particularly in severe circumstances, these therapies cannot replace expert medical care. If an infection is severe or chronic, always see a healthcare professional. 1. Warm Compresses For pain and swelling, a warm compress might be helpful. Increased blood flow to the affected area due to the heat might facilitate the body's natural healing process. To use, use a clean cloth to the affected region several times a day for 20 minutes after soaking it in warm water and wringing it out. This technique encourages the pus to rise to the surface, which can assist with symptoms like boils or abscesses. 2. Honey Manuka honey in particular possesses inherent antimicrobial qualities. According to research, honey can stop Staphylococcus bacteria from growing. Straight onto the affected region, apply a thin layer of honey, then wrap it with a fresh bandage. Every day, Replace the honey and change the dressing. Honey's anti-inflammatory qualities help lessen pain and swelling, while its high sugar concentration makes it unfriendly to microorganisms. 3. Garlic Allicin, an ingredient in garlic, has strong antibacterial qualities. Some researches show that garlic can suppress Staphylococcus bacteria. To treat the afflicted region, mash a few garlic cloves into a paste. After applying a bandage, let it on for around half an hour. Garlic might irritate some people's skin, so exercise caution while using it. Always start with a tiny patch of skin testing. 4. Tea Tree Oil The antibacterial properties of tea tree oil are well established. Studies suggest that it may be useful in combating staph germs. Use one or two drops of tea tree oil for every tablespoon of carrier oil, such as coconut or olive oil, to dilute the oil. Twice a day, apply it to the affected region. Before using tea tree oil extensively, conduct a patch test as some people may find it irritating. 5. Turmeric Curcumin, an ingredient in turmeric, has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory qualities. By combining turmeric powder with either water or coconut oil, you may create a paste. After applying it to the afflicted region, rinse it off after approximately 30 minutes. Use turmeric with caution since it might stain your skin and clothes. General Tips for Managing Staph Infections Maintaining proper hygiene is essential in addition to these treatments. It's important to often wash your hands, cover and wipe any contaminated locations, and refrain from sharing personal goods like razors or towels. Hand Washing and Hygiene Practices Seek medical attention right away if you have any symptoms of a more serious illness, such as fever, rapidly spreading redness, or excruciating pain. That concludes today's video on treating staphylococcus infections at home. Recall that although these treatments can be helpful for mild symptoms, they cannot replace medical advice from a physician. Please remember to like, subscribe, and click the bell symbol for more health-related advice and information if you found this video to be useful. I appreciate you watching.